Michelle, did you, yes. did you, for two years, your kids was in this two freezer. Two and a half years. Two and a half years, your kids was in this freezer, and you walked yes. past it every mean, day. Did you have any remorse for it or any Sometimes I used to open them. Hold up. Sometimes I used to open the freezer up, and I used to look at them, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, sometimes I would even look at myself in the mirror like, damn, bitch, you killed two of your kids. But I would also get mad at myself, like, fuck them. Look what they did to him. And I would look at them like, damn, like, Stoney, why did you do this, Stephen? Why the fuck did you do this to him? Like, like, I, so it's not, there was never no remorse. I just, I just felt fucked up inside. How you hear what I'm saying? Right. How often did you go to the freezer and just sometime would look at them? How often? Not a lot. Not a lot. You know, one time my son got up. And he wanted to sleep with me. And I said, no, go back to your room. And he was crying. And I said, what's wrong, Matt? And he said, I was thinking about what Stephen did to me. And I said, they're dead. You don't got to think about that no more. They're dead. He's like, I know. And I was like, I don't know what else to say to you. Like, it's in the middle of the night. They're dead. He said, I want to slap them. So I did. I took him downstairs, took Stephen's dead body out, put it on the floor, and I let my son slap him. Do you know his response is a response of a rape victim? When somebody rapes you, what do women, the first thing they want to do? They want to claw at him. They want to slap him. They want to beat their ass. My child, that little ass six years old, told me I want to slap him. So you damn right. I'm going to give my baby his closure all across the board. I'm going to give him that because he deserved that. So you're, you're, so when I took that by you, you damn right he slapped him across his frozen ass face and I put him back in that freezer and that night he slept on me because I'm not about to just tell you to go get in your own bed after you done slap your brother's dead right. body. Mm-hmm. So right. it's like I don't know what mm-hmm. to do in no situation like that. Right. All I know is I was going to make him whole. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? Everybody going to say this a crazy bitch or evil bitch. Call me what you want to call me. I don't give a fuck. See what your kids want, want to happen to somebody who fuck on them. I don't care. I don't. I really don't. And being in this prison lets me know I make the right decision every day. These sick ass bitches. You can't even put pictures of your kids up because these bitches are pedophiles. They sick. But every pedophile, every pedophile started as a child. So all that, all this innocent shit, the act that they committed was not innocent. And if you can fuck on your brother one minute and then wake up the next morning and look at me all peachy keen like you didn't do nothing. That was some manipulation. That was some fucked up shit. No, that was not innocence. That was some shit telling what the fuck is coming in the future. So I don't give a fuck about nobody's judgment. They can kiss my ass. And I also want to say something to my father. My father, John Blair. My father, John Blair, you ain't shit. I always wanted to fucking tell you that. How dare you have a funeral for them? You didn't even know their middle names. You just wanted to have a funeral at your church at Greater Grace to make it seem like you was a loving grandfather. Nigga, you wasn't there for me when I was a kid. When I told your bitch ass that I was raped, what you asked me on the phone? What did your mother say? Told me you was going to call me after work. Never heard from you for almost a year again. So... All this bullshit about his bitch ass having that fucking fake ass funeral, they didn't deserve a funeral. But the fact that you fucking gave me a funeral, nigga, and was trying to act like you and Rhonda, your slut ass wife, was ever a part of their lives, was fucked up. The only time you came and picked me and my brother up was when you wanted to take us to church with you as a show. The only time you even paid me any attention is when you took us to church every once in a while. But every time you picked us up, you had to make sure everybody saw us. Everybody saw us to make it seem like you were a good father. You wasn't shit as a father. And you damn sure wasn't shit as a grandfather. So how dare you have that funeral at your church? I ain't gonna even touch on the fathers, though. Fuck both of them nothing-ass niggas. Yeah, I saw in court when you were in court with the fathers. You you lashed out at the fathers. Um, You damn right, because they wasn't shit. It wasn't shit, period. But the, in there... They know it wasn't shit. So let them get on and do their little fuck interviews and all this. All I know is I would not... I could not not know that my children were dead for two and a half fucking years. If I didn't see you, I'm coming, I'm finding you. Something. They wasn't shit. Mm. Period. You never gave a fuck about your kids. Period. They like the idea of having kids. That was it. 
So uh, fuck both of them. Yeah, the I fact was, that they wanted to show up in court and act like they was good fathers and all this, get the fuck out of here. Now, in the but me, let me, me, let me ask you this. In the father's defense, they said that they were trying to, one of them was trying to come visit, and they were always told that the children was with the auntie or something. Was that true? Or a family member? Which one are you talking about, the dark-skinned or the light-skinned father? I believe it was the um, dark-skinned father, to be exact. That was a damn lie. He just wasn't ever shit. And, you know, I regret, I regret not doing something to him because I stopped my kids from going over that house, and he knows this, because my daughter Gabby said, Mom, Duke's father, which is their grandfather, was laying on the floor by their bed when they woke up. So that's why I stopped them from going over their house. Okay? Not to mention that when I was 17, when I was pregnant with Gabby, Duke told me that his father molested his niece, which is Brianna, and that's why they didn't let the father in the house. So as I'm pregnant in their house and saw the father come back, this is why I moved out. This is why when they met the move in, I did not allow them to go over there anymore when they had the father in there. Because you don't already said that my baby daddy, Alexander Dorsey, his father already molested one of the little girls there. That's why he never went over there. And if you're going to go there, you're going to be there. He's not going to be there. So it's like it's a lot to unpack. But I ain't even about to go there. But fuck that family because they ain't shit. And fuck Steven also, because he wasn't never shit. So as I told him, you got to get out, like I put him out, then it was a problem, because you couldn't use me no more. You didn't have nowhere to lay your head no more. So then when you left, you forgot your kids, too. So fuck them niggas. That was my stance in court. Don't come now. Y'all didn't give a fuck then. Don't give a fuck now. Do you receive a lot of hate mail? Um, I don't even, I don't read it. My JP sometimes go crazy, I delete it. Like I say, I delete all interview requests, all that. The only reason I'm on here now is because I want my son to understand how much I love him. But you know, me being in prison, my officer telling me... You have one minute remaining. Um, I got to lock up for 9 o'clock count because I am in prison. So I have to go. But I just want to get some of the things off my chest. You know what I'm saying? Huh? I love Matthew to death. Mm -hmm. That's the cap. I love him. I'm quite sure love Matthew him. loves you too, and Gabby. I love Gabby too, Gabby but she. Too. I just. She made it clear that she loves you. Okay. Well, I know she ain't never speak to me again, and all I can do is just say that I'm just a fucked up human being. But I do apologize for the things that I did to her. But I feel like that's an insult to do that. But I don't know what else to say. <laughs>